what to do with the leftover food? Can we throw it in the dustbin or throw it in a place where animals and birds can eat it? Again, this is one of the, th the, the, the issues that the Muslims have great confusion about. I remember when I was little, whenever we ate with our parents and we were stuffed, we were full, and we left some, left some food over, maybe some pieces of rice, the father or the mother would say, eat it or it will run after you on the day of judgment. And this scared the heck out of us. To just think of the food is to run after us on the day of judgment. And we were children, we were kids. So we did not think of what kind of weapons, what kind of form the food would take. We took their statement for granted, which shows you that be careful of whatever you teach your children because it is going to come back to them. So if you want to go out and your child asks for your companionship and you say, no, 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 I'm going to take a, a vaccine or a, the, an injection. And the boy will grow up fearing going to the doctors. If you lie to your child, if you talk about tooth fairies and how you put your tooth under the pillow and then the fairy exchanges it for um, a gold or coins or money or whatever, this is shirk. But this is what sometimes we bring up our children, not being aware of tawheed. This is why we always emphasize on the importance of tawheed on the importance of getting people back to the Quran and to the Sunnah. So, this confusion is simply looked at through the Quran and the Sunnah. I have a plate, I put some food in it, I had enough. And there is a considerable amount of food. What should I do? One, option number one, I force myself to eat it which may cause stomach problems, indigestion, whatever. Two, I can put it outside for animals and birds to eat from it. If it's meat, then I don't know if there are any canines would eat it in the area or cats or whatever. If it's rice, okay, then it can be eaten by birds. But I have to look into whether I am annoying my neighbors because there's a possibility that my neighbors would be harmed by it especially when it pollutes the area and it makes it dirty thirdly i can put it in the fridge and maybe eat it tomorrow and this is rare because most people don't like to eat such food that is left over from yesterday and some food does not even uh, can't be eaten uh, when uh, heated again. Fourthly, I can dispose of it and throw it in the dustbin. So what is the best? Well, if there is a possibility that someone else eats it or an, a living creature would feed on it without any bad consequences, that's a win-win situation. If not, then throw it. But never force yourself to eat something when you're full. And this is what yani, uh, uh, Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, may Allah have mercy on his soul, was asked once. I finished eating, but there is some food remaining. What should I do? They dispose of it. And the man said, shouldn't I force myself to eat it? And the Sheikh said, no, unless your stomach is a dustbin. It's a trash can. Then yeah, you force yourself. But other than that, Nowhere in the Quran and the Sunnah we are told to force ourselves to eat something that we do not want and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Uh,